Christian. You're an Israelite. That's blindness. Blindness is happening to the children of Israel. Now, instead of wearing the clothes that the Lord said makes you a princess and makes us gods, you wear garments that was never designed for you. You're a princess of the Most High God. Right. When have you ever seen a princess wearing my people clothing like the common people? You're dressed right now like the common people. You're not a common person. Right. That's right. The Lord created you. He created you to be different. He created you to be special. That's right. And we've lost our mind. It has been beaten out of us. It's not your fault that you don't know or that you are walking in darkness. But now you're standing in front of the prophets and the veil can be relieved from your mind. That's you just right. have to be willing to listen. This is how you serve the Lord. Because remember what we told you. You have to love the Lord, right? How do you love the Lord? Right. Earlier he read a commandment. What did that commandment say for you as far as the way you dress? You can't help the way you dress. So this is what you have to do. You, you read the shit all the time. We, the blind receive their sight. The blind receive their sight. What does that mean? That means we're walking around in darkness. In Deuteronomy 28 and 28, it says we will grow in darkness. You know what that darkness is? After this happened to us, our minds were destroyed. Bring it out! Now we call ourselves African American. You're not an African American. You're an Israelite. That's blind. Blindness is happening to the children of Israel. Now, instead of wearing the clothes that the Lord said makes you a princess and makes us gods, you wear garments that was never designed for you. You're a princess of the Most High God. Right. right. When have you ever seen a princess wearing my people clothing like the common people? You're dressed right now like the common people. You're not a common person. Right. That's right. The Lord created you. He created you to be different. He created you to be special. That's right. And we've lost our mind. It has been beaten out of us. It's not your fault that you don't know or that you are walking in darkness. But now you're standing in front of the prophets and the veil can be released from your mind. That's you just right. have to be willing to listen. Once you listen, you begin to study. Right. But you have to study with somebody who has knowledge and understanding. All right? You study it by yourself, you're going to constantly go around the circles. I read Genesis before I learned about this truth. And about Genesis 3, I put the book away because I didn't understand it. It took a man with understanding to tell me, this is what this means. Right. Give me that in Acts. Hold that. Give me that in Acts 8. It takes a man with understanding to come and reveal it to you. No, it's not okay for these women to dress the way they dress. No, that was not designed for you. That was designed to keep on sin. The longer you stay in sin, sister, the longer you stay in sin, the longer our people remain destroyed and at the bottom. Read Deuteronomy, um, I mean, Acts 8, 31. Read. The book of Acts, chapter 8 and verse 31. Mm -hmm. And he said, how can I, except some man should guide me? Verse 30. Verse 30. And Philip ran thither to him. Philip is one of the apostles or one of the disciples of Christ, right? He learned under the apostles. Read. And Philip ran thither unto him and heard him read. So Philip heard this man reading the Bible. Read. The prophet Isaiah. So he was reading in the book of Isaiah. Philip heard him. He was like, hold on. That man over there reading Isaiah. Listen at this dialogue. Read. And said, understandest thou what thou readest? Philip, with the knowledge, he's asking them, bro, you understand what you read? Like, I'm asking you, sis, do you understand the Bible when you read it? Read? And he said, how can I? So the man that was reading the Bible was like, no, nah, not really. How can I? Read? Except some man should guide me. So some man should guide you. This man has to have that understanding. 
The only way you're going to know if that man has understanding is you look and see that everything he's doing lines up with the scriptures. You can't, you can't look at a false prophet and know that he's a false prophet until you hear what it is he's speaking about. You hear what it is he's speaking about, you got your Bible out and you comparing what he's saying to what you, what the Lord bless you to understand, then you know you're dealing with a true prophet. All right, sister? Go back. Let's get uh, where, we were, where we at. Acts, was that Matthew? Matthew, read. The book of Matthew, chapter 11 and verse 5. Read. The blind receiving their sight. You hear that, sister? The blind receive their sight. We receive our understanding. Read. In the lame walk. In the lame walk, right? We, we right now, we incapacitated. With our money and our finances, the majority of us, we can't put bread together. We can't do that. Why can't we put bread together as a nation of people? What's hindering us from creating banks? Why don't we own the banks? What's wrong with our thinking? Bring it up. Why are we handicapped? Why do we need equal employment opportunities? We lame, we crippled. We not functioning in our whole capacity because we are not worshiping the true God the way we see it worship. So, the blind see that sight, the lame walk, read, the lepers are cleansed. The lepers are cleansed. The unclean people are cleansed. You wearing clothing that's abominable to God, that makes you unclean. Okay, read. And the deaf hear. The deaf hear, read. The dead are raised up. We are the valley of the dry bones, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. We are the dead, we are the dead here in the cities. We fill the hands of the streets. We are the ones who are being raised up in these last days. This, what you're seeing in here right now, is not only going on here. We got this going on in New York. We got this going on in Detroit. We got this going on in London. Your people are waking up to the fact that they are the gods on earth. That's right. We are the gods on earth. And you are the daughters of a god. Give me that in Psalms. We're going to show you. He's the father. We didn't say we are the father. We said we are the gods on earth. Read Psalms. Listen. Do you believe in the Bible? There is only one God. Bring it out. Do you believe the Bible? Absolutely. Do you believe the Bible? Read. The book of Do you believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible? So if we read to you out the Bible, what I just said, would you then accept it or no? Okay, read. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. Bring it out. I have said, ye are God. Hold on. No, we niggas. Hold on. I have said, we are God. Read it. And all of you, Read it again. I have said, ye are gods. One God with a S on the N or no D or no S. Gods. That's plural. No, that means. I have said, ye are gods. There's no apostrophe there. The apostrophe denotes possession. That's G-O-D-S, no apostrophe. Listen, not ye are gods. No, you, yourself, we are gods. Listen. That's right. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the Most High. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Somebody open up the Bible. Get a sister a Bible. She want to read that. Bring it out. Bring it out. You've never read that in your churches before because you've always read the false false prophets. False prophets who's teaching you to keep Easter. False prophets telling you that the resurrection, the death and the resurrection happened over the course of one and a half days from Friday to Sunday. Right. He said he was going to be in the belly of the whale or the belly of the earth for three days and three nights. You've learned from false prophets. You've never learned from the Lord God. But the truth is, read that again. I want you to read it right along with him while he's reading. Read. Psalms chapter 82 and verse 6. Read. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. So we, being gods, are children of the Most High. But what? But. You shall die like men. God don't die. But he said these gods will die. It's talking about us. Right. We are the children of God. Us being made in this image, we are God. Right. But because we disobey him, we're going to die like just regular common men. We are not common. So why are you, why are you, why are you worried about them? Why are you worried about them? Because we're, now we're teaching you, we teach, we teaching you about your people. Is that you right here? Does the world call you American Black? Does the world call you West Indian? 
Or Jamaican? What does the world call you? So your dad was an African American, right? You from the tribe of Judah. Now look down at this. What? I, no. Look at all this. Look. What, what, does this, what does this indicate? These are the different tribes. The 12 tribes. The, tribe. the family of Israel. Right. These are the families of Israel. These are people. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. We can tell who these people are by the prophecies written in Genesis 49, by the prophecies written in Deuteronomy 33, also by the prophecies written in Deuteronomy 28 that we were going over. I'm going to go back to it, but I wanted to finish this point. Right, right, right. Go ahead. What's your point? You have to know when to celebrate Passover. You can't just at any given day be like, I'm celebrating Passover. Because it's ordained in a specific season, right. in a specific time, in a specific day. Earlier we read you keep it on the 14th day of the first month. Do you gamble? Don't gamble with the Lord. Do not. Don't walk no gray line. Don't gamble. Take what we said and study. If you forget, what it is that we've said to you, you've got our number. But right now you stand at the threshold where you're going to do what you want to do as far as celebrating what you're going to celebrate tomorrow or think about what we said. Because right now we've been sent to warn you. We can't make you do anything. All we can do is plant that seed in the Lord's will. He can increase you. Right. Let's finish our little we at. And the deaf hear, the dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. You hear that? The poor have the gospel preached to them. That's all the same people, the dead, the blind, the lame, the poor. We're not giving money, we're giving the riches of God. Right. That's what we're giving you. We're Bring giving it up. you back your heritage. We're giving you back the understanding that yes, indeed, you are the sons and daughters of God. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is